It's time once again for Al's Book Club. It's trying to get kids to read, especially during Great the summer. Great summer time to do it. Absolutely, and we've got a really special book. It's called Swordbird. It's by a 13-year-old hmm, author. Really? And she's going to get to talk with some of the, the kids who read the book who aren't that much younger than she is. 13 years old. That's amazing. Yeah. And we're also... This morning on Al's Book Club for Kids, Swordbird. This summer, the Today Show partnered with Scholastic to launch a book club for children ages 9 to 11. Well, we're now on our third book. This one is called Swordbird, and it was written by a young author named Nancy Yi Fan. I recently sat down with our book club kids in the gardens of the Cloisters Museum here in New York City. Beams of light fell through the trees, creating shadows that flecked the thick, moist undergrowth. Nancy Yi Fan has always had a love for birds. In fact, it was a dream about her feathered friends that inspired her to write Swordbird when she was just 11 years old. The story centers around two small birds, Milton and Aska, who must help save a flock of blue jays, cardinals, and woodbirds from an evil hawk named Turnat. Their only hope? To summon the great spirit, Swordbird. While you were reading the book, was it in your mind that somebody so young wrote this book? It's kind of inspiring that we're not that far apart in age, so that means I could write a book if I wanted to. If she can do it, so can I. When you first heard about this book, it was a book about bird characters. Did you think, what's up with the bird thing? Matthew? I did not know if it was going to be quite a good book, but then once I read it, the chemistry between all the characters is just great. She tipped her head back as she let the words thunder from her throat. Why do you fight? Stop. We have been fooled by a ruthless hawk. I like the personality of the birds. For example, Milton and Aska, even though Milton had hurt himself um, very badly, um, Aska didn't leave him. Who will take the risk? Who will do it? Who? Who? I will. Milton? The robin nodded. What about Milton? I mean, even though he was one of the smallest of the birds, what was it about him that, that made him so heroic? He had a lot of courage. Swordbird beat his immense wings, flying higher and higher until he was no more than a white spot in the gray sky. What about Swordbird? I thought he was kind of a mysterious kind of guy. The bird was also a good and a bad character. A red brown hawk in dark robes observed the construction of his fortress. His name was Turnat. Large for his kind, with sharp claws for battling, a loud commanding voice and foul breath, he was a bird to be feared. To have a good hero, you gotta have a good villain. Was Turnit a good villain, Sarah? In all the books I've read, the villains are very greedy, and, and a lot of times they want to take over certain places. Turnit was just like that. He was kind of sneaky and smart, but in a bad way. You know, there's a real lesson in here that, that basically says you got to stand up to bullies like Turnap. Why is that important, Tyler? If you don't stand up for yourself and if you don't speak out against things, like, if you wait so long, nobody's ever really going to hear you. The Blue Jays held out stubbornly. Fighters from both sides were getting tired. What do you think the important lessons were for the Blue Jays and the Cardinals, Sarah? You should stick together because it's sort of like safety comes in numbers. The birds learn that you never have to back down. You always have to stay fighting the evil. And knowing that Nancy Yifan is not that much older than you, how many people have decided they're going to write a book? 100%? Very good. Everybody. Well, this morning, Swordbird author Nancy Yifan is here along with our book club kids, Kyle Flowers, Malik Bonilla, Sarah Sow, Tyler Leach, and Sarah Jouts, and Matthew Lish. Good morning to everybody. Hi. Well, first of all, Nancy, what made you decide to write a 200-page book about birds when you were just 11? Well, um, the inspiration for Swordbird, there were two major factors. One, of course, as you can tell, I'm a bird lover. Um, when I went to the libraries, I found that there were very few fiction books that had, you know, birds as the main characters. So I thought, if I wrote a um, bird book, then other bird lovers will have one more book to read. And the other factor was from school. At the time, I was learning about the American Revolution mm -hmm. in social studies class, and my teachers were handing out Time for Kids, and I learned about terrorism from that. And so um, one day, these two things whirled into this 
weird dream that was scary at first because they were fighting and it was so real. But then um, I, when I woke up, I wanted to turn the dream into a story. And you actually started taking sword fighting to, to oh, kind of yeah. learn about this. Yes, sword fighting. I took, um, I took it because I wanted um, to make um, the fighting seems look real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've got uh, we've got some aspiring authors here who have some some questions for you, Matthew. What what do you want to ask Nancy? Um, would you ever think about making a sequel to this book? Yes. In fact, right now I'm writing a prequel, a prequel to Swordbird. It's called Sword Quest, and it's about how Wind Voice became Swordbird. Okay, and Tyla, I know, Tyla's actually been part of a group that, that wrote a book at, at her school. What, what question do you have for Nancy, Tyla? Um, like, since I did, what did, since, like, me and the kids in our class wrote a book, what did you do to, like, get everything out there and make sure that people knew about your book? Well, um, at first, um, I didn't really think I would uh, publish this book. So you, I went online and looked for email addresses of people who worked in uh, publishing houses. And uh, one day, after one last look at my manuscript, I just emailed it off. I thought maybe um, I can get some advice on my writing so I could, you know, write better. But unexpectedly, Swordbird got accepted. Wow. So are you guys inspired? Are you all thinking maybe uh, continuing? And I know, Tyler, you've already written one, but how many of you still want to write a book? That's I pretty. Write another one. And you want to write another one. So you've been quite the inspiration, Nancy. I'm glad. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And we are very excited to announce our next book in our book club. It's a terrific novel without much ado. Here we go, our first book, first, our fourth book club choice, Bud Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis. It's a great novel. Young boy during the Depression who goes searching for his long lost father. Uh, my daughter Courtney, who's now 20, actually read this book and it's a real classic. I think you guys are really going to love it. All right. Have you read this book, Nancy? Yes. Yeah. And you, yeah. So you recommend it too? Oh, yeah. See, it's got the Nancy Yifan seal of approval. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Nancy, thank, thank you. you. Guys, thank you very much.